um, you know, just because today he came out really hard against Hillary, like he hit her real hard today about welfare reform. Um, no, he's been talking about that for like 20, right. 23 years, 22 years now, or whatever. There's video. Go look it up. C-SPAN YouTube. It's your friend. Like, seriously. He's been hitting her um, since they proposed it. Like, he was on the Senate floor. I mean, today. yeah, he's been hitting them. He has been hitting them since the 90s on it. He's been hitting them on some on budgetary priorities. He's been, and I think, I think honestly, I think some of this stuff with him and the Clintons is actually personal. Because he's been going ham on Bill Clinton since Bill Clinton got in office in the 90s. Mm. And, you know... I think now because she wants to tout, she wants to be Clinton, Clinton's too, mm -hmm. despite what you know the contrary. I really think that some of it, some some extent, it's personal between them because like, how dare you? You're not even like in the crew, right? right. You're not even a part of our squad, and you think you're gonna come and take something? Like, I really think at this point it's getting personal. I think there are a lot of people who want to who want to be down with the Clintons because they do have power, they do have money, they do have access. We talked about this last night with the mothers of the movement or whatever. I do think that there's a certain allure and appeal because they are so well known, they are so well connected. But at the same time, for us as the masses of voters, they're not for us. They right. are absolutely not for us, and we need to wake up and be real about what's going and on. It's, I think you're about the personal part. I think that is true, and it might even extend to Obama. After I heard the White House reports um, from reporters from yes. the White House saying that they are quite upset that it's Bernie who has this massive movement and not Hillary or anyone else. Anyone else. It's, it's Bernie who has this movement. Which is crazy, and Solomon, because, because you – I just uh, – there's a, a, an article from February – or I'm sorry, from November about emails from um, Hillary Clinton's staff that were working for Obama that still disliked Obama from 2008. So it's this entire cluster F of, of, of priorities and, and loyalty and, and, and cross loyalties. And now, now the Clintons pretend like they, like they love the Obamas and Obama's team is coming to cape for Hillary Clinton when they know they still have, they still have problems from yeah. 2008. And that, that's, it's, uh, there was a poll that came out that said among young people, and this may also be something that the, the Obama administration doesn't really like anymore, Ob uh, Sant Bernie surpassed Obama in the eyes of young people as the yeah. most respected uh, politician, the politician they most respect and admire. And not just overtook him, it's almost double. It's 35% wow. to 18% you know, for, yeah. with Hillary Clinton a third, like 11%. And you know, you know what? what? Marco Rubio. Part that's part of this narrative against President Obama. We're going to take this call. Uh, is that is that the, how dare this white guy come around and take some shine from our first black president? Um, caller, you're live on the air. Thanks for your patience.